hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel and this is my very first video and video i actually going to show you how you can actually deploy your rest api or server code into render.com that we are going to do today so this is the render website so first of all go to render website if you are new then sign up with your github because we are going to deploy our app using the github and render i already signed up with my github account that's why it's automatically signed it so you have to sign sign up with your github account right this is my github account and this is my render account right now you have to create a new repository click on the plus icon new repository and and just type anything that you name your repository name i am going to uh, backend backend test test code okay i just create none to do anything right so now copy this url copy and go to your project folder this is my project folder I just see a simple backend code that actually just show the API is working. If I go to uh, here, this is my the code that actually working. This API, REST API, we are going to deploy in render. So first of all, you have to go to your package.json and you have to see that script that you used to start your server, right? So in this case, my script is dev. So how I run? I, I, I use uh, npm run dev, right? just note this and so now we are going to add our repository that we copied from github just git init git remote add origin just press this code nice so i am going to change the branch main so now we are in main branch just first but we have to ignore this folder right node models get a file name dot git ignore and add the node modules add the node modules file right here folder so we are not going to push this so now git, git add git commit m my my first rest rest api git push origin main u okay so we actually push the code to our github repository if we reload this as you can see we our code is right here but we have done something very wrong what we actually pushed our env file as you know environment file actually contain our secret credential right so we are not going to push this to github so you have to do just dot env that's it so we just mistakenly send this so in this case it's not a big deal after you've done this go to your render and click on the new and click on web server and now you will see your every github repository right here so this is the actual repository that we created see the backend test code the backend test code now, now just click connect so here you can use any name this i am using the backend test backend rest api here you can see the branch that is main branch because we have only one branch right here and then root directory you have to do just dot what you have to use the dot and in the runtime you have to select the node if anything is selected then if you use go then go use go if you use docker then go for docker whatever you want so in this video we are going to use the node api in the run command you have to use npm install because render will install all the dependency that we have added to our package.json doc right here see all the dependency will install automatically in render and in the start command you have to use npm run dev actually the command we use to start our server right in the start command you have to use the run npm run dev and then go to and just create server web server as you can see it's cloning our code from the our repository and it's building it already installed our dependency let's wait a few minutes the build is complete you can see it's started so now how we can access this if we minimize this and go to our our website this is our url so now you can see that our website is actually working this is our server and this is our local server api is working right now so this is 
this is how you can actually deploy your backend code or rest api code into back into render it's very simple and the last thing i want to show you that if you have any environment as i said that if you have the env file that contain your credential click on the environment and add environment and here you have to use the key and value what is the key and value go to your env file this is your key and this is your value so if you have something like a uh, secret secret token is equal to blah 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 you have to use this name this key right here value is right here okay and then set change so this is how you can actually use the secret or env environment right here so this is how you can add your environment token or whatever env file all credential right here in the environment section i showed you by adding one you can use more right just click on the add add it will add so this is how you can actually deploy your rest api or backend code into render using your github account so it's very 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 easy if you like this video or found this video helpful then please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video